In today's program, we will feature several awesome vegan kids from different parts of the world. Our first stop is Sydney, Australia. The famous landmark of the city is the Sydney Opera House, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Sydney is trying to make the city greener by giving out a free tree to each applicant who lives in the local area. The plan is to plant at least a million trees by 2022 to provide cleaner air and more shade to the city. Plus, who doesn't love the calming scenery that the trees offer? The lovely Melody from Sydney has a big heart. After winning first prize in drawing for her age group, she donated her prize money to help sick children in hospitals. Let us listen to her brief introduction about herself and her future dream. I like playing music. Painting, skipping, and helping my mom. Animals are so cute. We love animals. I told my friends to be vegan to keep animals happy. They eat more vegetable now and their parents want to be vegan too. I want to be a doctor and a vet so I can help animals and people at the same time. Melody, may you grow up healthy and strong as you continue to help sentient beings. Now let's go to Yilang, Taiwan, or Formosa. Every year, a green expo is held in the city to promote an eco-friendly lifestyle among the local population. Some kids from Yilang are also going green by planting vegetables in the garden. While busying the field, Lee Kyer shared with us his reasons for being vegan. I love animals. So I am a vegan. Being a vegan makes me healthier. I don't get fat. Be better. Go green to save the planet. As vegans, our diet is plant-based. Vegetables absorb all the carbon dioxide in the garden and at the same time produce oxygen for us to breathe. A win-win situation. What's more, it's so fun working with soils and plants and harvesting fruit is also rewarding. Hi. Hi. 食材有莴苣、姜烧豆腐、鳳梨、番茄、橄欖、吐司、番茄醬、陳素梅奶絲。然後把兩片豆腐放上去然後再接下來把鳳梨放上去然後把一片番茄放上去然後再把橄欖放上去再淋上番茄醬
，然后再用叉子把它固定住。然后拿刀子把它切下去，这样就做完姜烧豆腐三明治了，而且还是全素的哦。我是 vegan 大宝，嗨，我是 vegan 小宝。首先，先夹两片苹果，再夹入两片柠檬，再夹两个芒果，再来倒入汽水。再来，搅拌搅拌，这样子就完成了。那我也来试试看。首先，先加入两个西瓜。再加入两片凤梨，一片，两片，再加入两个奇异果，两片的，再倒入去汽水。拌搅拌，哇，好好喝、哦、！The sandwiches and the sparkling juice sure look delicious. It would make a perfect light meal for a hot day. You can change the recipe by adding your favorite ingredients too. For me, I would add some cilantro on my sandwich to make it more flavorful. How would you make yours? Thank you, Wu Dean Dabao and Xiao Bao, for the yummy vegan recipes. Next, we will visit Toronto, Canada, to meet Noah Porter Rosenzweig. Who is passionate about protecting animals? Did you know that in Toronto there is a neighborhood nicknamed Vegandale? It's because you can find many vegan businesses here. It's like a mini vegan heaven. According to Noah's mom, Ms. Marie Porter, who is a vegan writer and actress. Noah has always been empathetic towards other sentient beings. He would save ladybugs on park slides or worms that got soaked in the rain on the sidewalk. He participated in his first peaceful protest at age four and became vegan at five. On January 26, the seven-year-old Noah joined the protest in front of the Marine Aquarium in Toronto. Even though the temperature was as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius or minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, he insisted on holding up the sign, "Free the fishes," and chanting, "Shut it down!" alongside 40 other protesters. Their message: Visiting the so-called aquariums is helping destroy the ecosystem. During another demonstration against the fur industry, Noah became known as the powerhouse among the protesters as he passed out over 300 flyers. After reading about the horror of this cruel industry, some people immediately returned the fur coats they recently bought. Go, Noah! Your voice is heard, and we wish many people will listen to your message and choose to be kind to our animal friends.
In the United States, a 2020 study shows that approximately 9.6 million people are following the plant-based diet. How encouraging! Look, the little girl Lena already knows a lot about being vegan. Let's check out her very own YouTube channel, Vegan Beans. What do you eat? I eat healthy food. Like what? Like bean burritos. What would you say if someone gave you some cow milk? No, I don't like that. Why? Because I am vegan. Who is cow milk for? Baby cows. What would you say if someone gave you some eggs? No, I don't like it so much. What about honey? No. Ah. Would you ever hurt an animal? I wouldn't. Making everybody vegan saves the whole planet. It saves the whole planet? Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. What a fun and loving girl. We wish more people will have the chance to watch your channel and be inspired to follow your example. The young people in Thailand are becoming more vocal about their opinion on climate change, the animal industry, and other social or moral issues. The Facebook group Vegetarian and Vegan Footies Thailand has seen increasing membership and activities. The 16-year-old Ping from Bangkok, Thailand, will now give a short presentation on an important issue. Today I'm going to present about animal rights and not using animals in circus. Have you ever thought that if humans have human rights, we also need animal rights for the animals? The circus is a company of performers who put on diverse entertainment shows that may include acrobats, musicians, and trained animals. Firstly, performances such as circus should be animal free because using living animals to perform tricks is unethical. Secondly, it ensures the animal and human safety. Using animals is immoral as people are forcing animals to do tricks against their own will. Thank you, Ping, for bringing to light the plight of circus animals. We wish your eloquence will help wake up more people to the reality of this so-called entertainment. The kids in our show today come from different countries, but they share the same love for the animals. They have showed us that being vegan is easy, healthy, compassionate, and cool. We welcome your ideas and feedback. To help us improve our program, Kids Wonderland, please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash KW.